the CIA, the Secret Service, the Cubans, the Russians will continue to believe that. New information is released about that fateful day in Dallas, the day someone shot and killed President John F. Kennedy. Good evening. Thanks for joining us. Almost 30 years ago, the fatal shots rang out in downtown Dallas. Since then, the controversy over who pulled the trigger continues to grow. And today, the release of more information that might help historians shed more light on the JFK assassination. But some say it's still not enough. Ward Lasso has the latest now from Washington, D.C. Researchers, reporters, and the just plain curious descended on the National Archives this morning to see firsthand the classified government file on the JFK assassination. There's four boxes of it, I'd like two. These documents came from more than a dozen federal agencies, including the FBI and the CIA. This is a pretty significant release because it's, uh, we have such a large amount of material coming available for the first time. But are there any real surprises in all these hundreds of thousands of documents? The chief counsel for a congressional committee that investigated the assassination says no. The significance of this is not that it hasn't been reviewed by responsible government agencies. The significance is now that the American people can have direct access to it to make up their own mind. But far more significant than what's released here is what hasn't been released. The CIA and other agencies have been allowed to withhold certain files based on national security or individual privacy. But some researchers complain that right has been abused and that more files need to be opened. We don't want this uh, episode to turn into another uh, issue that's going to cause more doubts than it resolves. A citizen's review board will have the power to force government agencies to release more information. But President Clinton still has not named anyone to that board. Somewhere in the White House there ought to be some lawyer who can take 20 minutes, prepare a memo, and give it to the president. Today's release of government documents is likely to whet the public's appetite for even more information on the JFK assassination. But little more is expected until that independent review board gets to work. In Washington, Ward Lasso, Texas News 5. In Dallas, researchers and historians are cautiously optimistic about the release of the Kennedy documents. Each year, thousands of the curious make a pilgrimage to Dealey Plaza, where JFK was shot 30 years ago. Many are still asking questions. At the JFK Assassination Center in the West End, researchers are hoping the new documents provide some answers, but they're a little skeptical about what's been released. This is only one-third of all the pages. Uh, from what I understand, some of those are censored. So we'll have to just wait and see. Those who claim a government conspiracy in the assassination believe any clues leading to that conclusion would have been covered up years ago. Angie.